What up, YouTube? You can see me, I guess. This damn 2020 is just, just crazy. Fake friends and shit, fake people. I just can't believe it. Like, I let this girl stay here since April 6th. Since April 6th, rent free, didn't pay nothing. And this is how, like, you talking crap and shit? Like, talking about you could press. Dog, I let you stay here since April 6th, and you left December 1st. And said you was coming back. Alright, you don't come back. I'm not even mad that you ain't coming back. I'm mad because how you going about shit? You called me December 9th. Talking about, oh, my mom won't let me go see Ava for Christmas and this, that, the third. Calling me 11 o'clock in the morning. You know I ain't up. And then, like, oh, I got to come back here on the 14th or 13th. Cool. Cool. Then did a whole 360, like, bipolar like your mom or something. I'm like, dog, I helped you so many ways. Your mom been taking your money. And all this, she been taking your money since you was a baby, your social check. She was like, come on. Even when you turn 18, she ain't give you your money. You 35 now. I don't want to help you get your money. When you was crying on my bed, oh, my money, I just want my money. I was consulting you and all this. I can't believe this. Like, you just do a whole 360. I don't want to help you so many ways. Help you get your money. He said, nah, keep calling them. Keep calling them. You got your money. That car over there that's in my driveway. You said it was our car. My dad turned. You wouldn't even have afforded that car. My dad went out his way, whatever, and took, called the guy because he knew the guy. Because he bought this car. He bought what, the blue car, his black car. He bought three cars from the dude already. So I'm like, Dad, can you please call him, get him turned down? Because when you was calling, did it work? You tried it. Did it work? No. Did not work at all. They told you get a, think a bank, um, bank check or something, some help. My dad called, called the guy, put it down, got, what the hell? Took your money from out of your bank, put it in his bank account, sent the check up there and everything. We didn't have to do that for you. I'm the reason you got that car. You said it was our car. I'm the reason you got it. You was going to get this car fixed. You was going to get this car fixed. What I tell you? Because I'm a real nigga, real friend. I told you no. You don't got to get my airbags and all my stuff fixed. I, I didn't want that. I was like, nah, that's... that's. If I was a shiesty nigga, I'd be like, yeah, get my stuff fixed. But I said, no, get your own car. You're going to get your own car. That's how we're going to do it. You was going to buy some Cadillac, luxurious Cadillac, 2012. You was going to buy that. Then that sold because you couldn't afford it because you tried to call them. They told you get a bank statement. You couldn't get it. You couldn't get it. They didn't take you serious. Then you was going to get the blue Chevy. Told you, nah, that shit's all fucked up in the front. Don't get that. Nah. Then what came back? Like a couple weeks later, that silver car came. How you get it? Because my dad turned the gun. Told the guy to go down. He let the guy know, can you go down? And this is all I got. That's how you got it. Then we had to get your bank account, get the money out. Then we had to put the money back in. Then my dad sent the check through his bank account. People are shysty out here. I don't want to say just Georgia, but people are shysty. Like, I never thought, like, yo, I treated you like, like a great-ass friend. You talking all these lies, and I treated you bad. Where? When? You was going to get my car fixed? I told you no. Get your own car. I'm getting hot in here. Get your own car, I said. You don't need to get my car fixed. That'd be fake as hell. See, a fake friend would have been like, yeah, get my fix. So I could drive around in my car. That would have been some fake. Like, well, my heart, that would have been fake. I told you no, you're going to get your own car. We're going to do this right. 
I was gonna do Uber in your car, then get my car on the vote. You know, you said it was our car. I was gonna do Uber in your car, that you, and then I was gonna get my car fixed myself. Doing Uber Eats or whatever, get his regular nine to five job out here and doing damn Corona or something. I don't know. Hustle, get some damn money up. That's how I was gonna do my shit. I don't know where I did. Then, it's like the way you leave somebody's house after they took care of you f since April 6th, got you away from your bipolar mom. I helped you in so much goddamn ways. I got you away from your bipolar mom that was treating you, throwing things, and would call the cops on you and shit like this. And when you get mad, and now you do this type of shit, like, if I treated you bad, why would not we sitting on my bed? You know, you remember this. When I was sitting on my bed, you said, oh, I could be Ava's goddad or stepdad or something. And though we don't go together. We're just friends. Why would you say that? I didn't ask for that. I didn't even ask. For real. Like, I didn't even ask to be Ava's stepdad. See, I wasn't looking at the camera much, but whatever. I didn't even ask to be Ava's stepdad, goddad, or nothing. You could be Ava's father figure. I'm like, huh? How that's gonna work? Ava don't even listen to me. Like, cause you know that little girl need a, a father figure. And you know I would be a great one. Like, just how you going about things? Talking about, oh, I need my stuff to get my life together and get my daughter back. I was helping you get your daughter back. I told you, call the court, call this, call the people. I helped you, so I was helping you do that. Now you just talking crazy and, oh, you could press charges, press charges for a false report. I didn't send the cops to that du your dude house. Your mom and dad did. Like you, like, you don't even make sense with your threats. You could press charges. I told you what I thought, press charges. That's your mom and dad that sent them people. I did not send no people to that dude house. Your mom and dad did. That's because you couldn't simply FaceTime me and say, like, be a real person and really talk on the phone and be like, oh, yeah, I'm picking him. Because before you told me you ain't going to choose between me and him, I just was tired of it because this nigga kept talking shit for no reason. I didn't want this bitch. I didn't want you. You know that. This is why you said it on the text. Oh, you? why you mad? Uh, you didn't want me? Yeah, you know that I didn't want you. But we have been said this. You even got a text before that says, I'll be your boo forever, no ties attached. You said it. I'm going to put it on Instagram. I'm gonna put it, I just can't, I will try to put it on this video, but I don't know, no, whatever. Dog, I was hoping you, I hope you get your 780 from your mom's social check back. You was crying about that. I was helping you. You got it back. And this is how you do, like. Yeah, you got me some stuff. I mean, you got me some stuff. But come on, like a whole 360. You said you was coming back. I wasn't even bugging about you coming back or not. I was letting you know, though. But now you talking about sending the police here. I ain't even say I wasn't going to give you your shit back. But I said, I'm not putting your shit in the car. I'm not no butler. I ain't no flunky. I ain't no... No, I'm not doing that. You got me fucked up, bro. I'm not putting no damn... Put my stuff in my car, please. No, I don't care. You say, please, I'm not putting your shit in no car. That'd be some flunky-ass shit. You want your shit? Come get it. Send your stepdad to come get it. Since everybody want to talk tough, all this shit, everybody real tough. Your mom disrespecting me, saying I was selling you. The fuck? She tripping. I ain't selling nobody. You no more shit than your dad. Nah, fuck that. I want smoke. I want you get get your glasses. Got how many times you went up there? Went up there like three times, three different times. I don't want to help you get them. Yeah, I said call the back of your car. You didn't know this shit. I said call the back of your car to get them glasses. Your mom wasn't helping you do none of this. None of this. I got you them damn glasses. Got you that car. You said it was our car. You was gonna pay for this. And this was cheaper to get this with some airbags and stuff. I told you no. Because I didn't want that on my chest. Like, oh, that's phony. That's heisty. 
make someone pay get your car fixed, but they don't even got a car they own. You wasn't even going to get that car. You was going to get the red Cadillac, then you was going to get the blue Chevy. I don't want to say no. Them cars is not the right. Well, you couldn't get the red one. That one already sold because you couldn't get a bank or whatever. That thing sold. But you doing some shade some shiesty, fake-ass shit after I helped you do so much. Like, I helped you do so much. Like, I can't believe I was sad about this shit. Like, I was sad about this shit. Like, I can't believe it. I was really, like, Tearing up about this shit, like, for nothing. I didn't even know it was you okay or nothing, but now I see what you're doing. You're telling people we didn't fuck. Bro, you been here since April 6th, they ain't pay no bills. We didn't fuck? That don't even make no sense. That, man, that's just lying. Just Lies that don't even make sense, bro. Sending press the charges. Dog, you can't press charges with me. Your mom and dad sent them there. Lying saying we ain't fuck you lying like lies after lies. Now I realize what's going on. You lying to people. That's why your nigga kept saying, "Oh, your dad want to fight me," and I was like, "What the fuck?" But I was like so mad. I was like, "Well, nobody's gonna touch me." But now I'm seeing what you're doing. You're doing what you did here and saying your mom does this, does that. You're telling your dude that I tried, treated you bad. You're telling that your dad I treated you bad. If I treated you bad, why would you call me Ava, stepdad, goddad, whatever? Why would you, like, stay here so long? Why, because your mom treated you worse or something? Say we didn't fuck though. You've been here since April 6th. And I can't believe this dumbass nigga believed it. Bro, she been here since April 6th till December 1st. She left to go, what, see her, her uh, daughter, September or something, and then she came right back. But don't say I'm, don't tell lies at least. Like, what are you telling these people? Just straight lies. Oh, we didn't fuck. Oh, this, that, third. You lying. Like, do niggas really care who you fucked afterwards? Like, as long like y'all didn't meet to December first, so why would he care that you fu you got fucked? <laughs> With, like, you got a whole kid from another dude. Why would he care? Like, what the hell? Why? Who? Who's that insecure? Your nigga must be real insecure if he cares that you fucked somebody before meeting him. Before y'all ever got in contact. But he used to cancel. This, this this is crazy how funny this shit is. He used to cancel so many times before y'all ever met. You put the Ben went, Chris, uh, Thanksgiving, all this. But he kept canceling on you. Three times, three, four times. I don't know. So many times. And you used to come in my room and cry. Or be upset. You even said slap you one time. I went like this. And then got close to your face, but didn't touch you because I'm like, maybe I'm not really like you was down with getting slapped. I'm like, I'm not gonna slap you because what this nigga canceled on you. Like he canceled on you so much times, you was being, oh no, nah, I'm getting, I'm getting mad. He he canceled on me, and then he was crying, and then he was upset, and then I'm like, after like the second time, I'm, I was just like laughing, like baby, this is weird. This nigga's canceling on you. Then December first come, he talking shit to me. At six four five o'clock in the morning, AM, cause you supposed to be there like that later on in the afternoon, but you, he wanted you there right now. But I'm being a good friend, cause I'm like, I don't know the fuck Uber rape you, fuck you up, beat you down, rob you. I don't know. So I said, no, don't go right now. And this nigga acting crazy. I'm like, if you want smoke, it's smoke, but nigga, you canceled on us so many times. Now you acting like, oh, I need her there, need her there now. I need her there now, like. This nigga sound like a human trafficker. I'm like, who needs someone at 4, 5 o'clock, 6 o'clock? But I see what y'all doing. You trying to make me look like the bad guy, like I'm forcing her to stay. No, I'm just thinking like, yo, where would this Uber do something? It's on me. Like her mom would say, you number one suspect. She'll tell the police I did the shit. 
Why you let her go at four or five? Yeah, she, no, I think you set her up. And, nah, fuck no, I ain't set her up. I just can't believe this shit. Then this nigga talking shit. Get the fuck out my face, bro. You, you talking shit, you canceled on her so many times. Remember before you canceled on her, and she remember you vo she rolled my dick. She was so upset. She rolled the shit out this shit. Like I remember that you canceled on her. For that's an airplane, whatever. You canceled on her for her to feel better. I said, "Fuck it, ride my dick." Suck it, ride whatever. I was trying to make her feel better. Cause I got, to, I was consoling her before, but I got tired. I'm like, this in the late. She upset for over this nigga that keeps canceled. It's like, dog, just get a new, new guy. This nigga keeps canceling. Talking about he ain't got no uh, bed. He ain't got this. He don't want it. You broke ass nigga talking shit. How can you talk shit to me? No, Ruby tells the people business. I know you ain't got no bed. I know you broke his shit. You talk, waiting for a check to come in. You ain't got no car. Like, I know all this shit about you. She tells everybody business. That's why I was mad she told my fucking address. That should have been a strike right there. Once you told my address, I should have been like, yeah, you got to go. Because before when you talk, you even asked me, can you tell your sister my address? I had no problem telling your sister. But when you're telling random strangers that, like, yeah, a friend of yours, a guy friend of yours that live in Macon, I'm in Stockbridge, but you telling people like that, but then you ask, that don't make sense. you telling somebody, you didn't even ask me to tell him, but you ask about your own sister? Your sister was supposed to been come and see you. You supposed to live with her. But you said, no, I want to stay with you, daddy. I don't want to live with you, my sister. We're going to get our own place. We're going to do this. We're going to do that. We're going to me, you, me, you, and Ava, and of Meyer. We're supposed to get our own place. That's how it's supposed to go down. I'm going to do a part two to this. When I think of more stuff that, like, what she's doing is like, man, people will stab you in the goddamn back. Press the charges. How you gonna press charges? False report. I didn't even report. I would like, like, if you're dumb like that, like, dude, you're just telling more lies. Your mom and dad reported that shit. I, why? Like, you don't even make no sense. Whatever, man. Like, comment, subscribe. Tell me, con like, stories if y'all have. I will watch it. Friends that, like, just not even, like, I don't even know what to say. Like, got stabbed in the back, whatever. It's just how she doing it, though. Like, it's, like, seisty as hell. Ah, right, yeah.